Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV. Uh, over the years I've uh, tested several water filters for the RV and every time in the comments section they always tell me about the device uh, to measure total dissolved solids called a PPM meter, parts per million. So recently I was on Amazon and buying some other stuff and I came across one and decided oh, maybe I'll get myself one. It's kind of a nifty little gadget and we'll give it a test and see what it does. So what it's supposed to do is measure total dissolved solids in your water. Now all water has solids dissolved in it, even you know your tap water. It's going to have minerals that come through and a lot of these minerals are actually healthy. Uh, if you actually get very purified water, usually it can go down to very low, low total dissolved solids. Even some filters will totally get rid of it. but. Uh, I know it's kind of healthy to have certain minerals in your water, but you don't want other types of minerals. Uh, I kind of did some research on it, and uh, if you get above a certain amount of parts per million, it's supposed to be unhealthy. So I thought this would be a neat little gadget. We'll uh, take it apart, have a look at it, and then we'll do some testing with it. So the one I got is called HM Digital Calm 80S, uh, designed in the U.S., uh, made in Korea. Pull the box apart here. Okay, here it is. It's powered on. And we can see here up we got uh, parts per million and 72.9 Fahrenheit right now. So it measures temperature and it's in parts per million scale. Uh, down here there's a mode button, so if I hold that it can switch between different modes. There's two parts per million scales and also something called EC which is electrical conductivity there's two ways to measure that as well but we're more concerned with the uh, parts per million which will tell us the total dissolved sol solids and the temperature you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit and there's a calibration mode in there and down here's the business end of it so we put this in a glass of water and there's two probes down there so what it's doing is it's sending a little bit of electrical current through the water and by how conduct how conductive it is it can kind of tell how many solids are in there like salts and iron that sort of thing um, also for batteries up here it came with batteries this top pulls off and we have just three little button type watch batteries in the top there Okay, well let's start out. We're going to check out uh, just my tap water coming out of the tap in the RV right now. Okay, so that's coming right out of the RV tap. I put the right out of the RV spigot into my water tank and then into the tap. And we have, looks like 39 parts per million. And that's actually really good. That's coming straight out of our tap. but. Up here on Vancouver Island where we RV, basically it's coming right out of a, a freshwater lake and then gets uh, processed. It's a city water that we're on. So maybe let's check uh, some water out of the estuary. That would be interesting. We're at a saltwater estuary. So we'll go get some of that water and we'll see what it reads out. Okay, put my boots on, went down there and got you some estuary water. So the tide's coming in, should have quite a bit of salt content, very brackish. And you can see we're up to 6,907 parts per million. <laughs> quite the difference. I also went out to the actual ocean and, and tried to test the straight ocean water, but it actually overloaded this meter. It only goes as high as 8,000. 560 parts per million so that's the the salt content that's dissolved in the water okay so just for fun let's try uh, putting it through the my new clear source ultra filter system um, we'll just first we'll start with the RV park water that I just measured and we'll see if it actually changes anything theoretically it shouldn't do anything because dissolved solids should go through these filters and not be touched by them but We'll do this just for fun. Well, 
it actually went up a little bit right in through the filter pushed it up to 41 parts per million I imagine that's got something to do with my filters are brand new you know the carbon filter is brand new when I first ran it through I was getting a reading up around 60 I let it run for about 10 minutes and it dropped down to 41 so but you can see it's not really decreasing it any so let's get some of that estuary water and I'll get a 12 volt pump and we'll pump some of that stuff through there and see if it uh, does anything for it. Went and got a couple five gallon buckets out of the estuary. I'm going to run it through the filter system here. Push out any of the clean water that I was putting in. And then we'll measure the difference between in and out. So here's the before of the last bucket I put through there. 5,718 parts per million. Now I'm going to go and uh, clean off this and we'll do a test of the water that came out. And there we go, slightly less, but you can see it's still 5,560. So really, these filters don't do much to dissolve solids at all. Well, there you go. I think that's a handy tool to have around the RV. Uh, at least I can test the water when we're, when we're out and about camping at different locations. Before I fill up my tank, I can uh, test if a so-called RO water, you know, you go down a lot of the desert, they advertise RO water, which is reverse osmosis water, and it's supposed to get rid of the minerals and salts that come from the well water. So a lot of times their uh, system may not be working that great, and you might have a really high uh, total dissolved solvent content. So it'd be nice to to have that to check before I hook up and fill up on stuff. Um, it was interesting to, to see that the, the water filters really weren't doing anything to, to the salts and stuff that were dissolved in the water. Um, the one filter there, the sediment filter, all it does is filter out larger particles, you know, dirt and debris that's in the water, sands and stuff. And then the carbon filter filters out smaller particles and also gets rid of a lot of the bugs and nastiness and then the final stage the, the 0.2 micron there gets rid of even down to E. coli so it makes the water a lot healthier and tastes better but uh, you're still going to get dissolved solids in your water so if you're if you're filling up with a really high dissolved solids water it's going to go right through this filter system so some people will go and, and install a reverse osmosis system also this company has a, a, a set of filters that are called deionizing filter systems so I think I might um, purchase that and maybe do a test with that I think they they say it's good if you're washing your car it can get rid of a lot of that hard water the salts and things so you don't get those water marks on your car It'd be an interesting test for this thing too to see see if that filter would actually get rid of the the solids anyway as you can tell I don't know a whole lot about water water purification just <laughs> Growing up on Vancouver Island here, we just had such great water, nobody even thought about it half the time. We were on, like like I say, uh, lake water, mountain-fed lakes, just beautiful soft water. So if you have any more advice, uh, leave it in the comments. Always nice to learn from others that are going through this in other parts of the country where they're fighting hard water and iron and that sort of thing. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.